NFL teams? Yeah, I thought it was a good day. Um, put the script together, had about 46, 48 throws on there. Um, so a good amount of throws, got to do a few different things, um, had some suggestions from, from others about what to throw and pocket movement, all that stuff. So it was a lot of fun. Um, it was good to be back, good to throw to some guys that uh, I know. And yeah, I've heard, I've heard um, different things. You know, you, you never know um, who's telling the truth, who's just being nice to your face or whatever it might be. So um, I've enjoyed the process. What throws do you make well, you think? Uh, I like any outcut throws, so anything I'm um, going towards the sideline, come back. We did a bunch of outcuts, um, and so I, those are some of my favorite throws. We threw a lot of those today. Tell us about uh, your journey from Big Ten Championship game to the NFL Combine, what you were doing, and obviously you're in a different situation because you're married and things like that, so um, you probably have to balance home life and on top of the training. So. Yeah, it's been been a crazy few months. Uh, we were training down in Frisco, down in Texas. Um, and so my wife was, was down there with me and um, long days at the facility for um, a good portion of the day and come home and hang out with her and the dog. So it was, it was a fun uh, couple months to, you know, kind of just be us, but also very busy. So we've enjoyed it. Um, but like I said, it's, it's good to be back. What do you have to get better at for the next level? We talked about them saying different things you can do to move, things like that. I'm sure that's a knock is that you're not a running quarterback. So. Yeah. Yeah, obviously um, the athleticism comes up um, try to chip away at that. Uh, again, don't ever think I'm going to be Lamar Jackson, but try to chip away at the weakness as much as I can. And then just continuing to learn different systems, being able to talk their lingo, um, see different coverages, see different concepts that you, you're not familiar with. And so um, just try to immerse yourself in the game and you know be a student of the game. Does it still blow your mind where you came from to this point now where you're talking about the NFL draft? It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I, you know, again, I've, I've said before, I try to find the balance of looking back and being appreciative, but also knowing I, I want to play more football and have some more experiences uh, in the future. And so um, you try to strike that balance where you can and um, above all, just be appreciative because I, I know it took a lot um, from other people pouring into me to get to this spot. When you sort of talk to NFL teams and you're kind of trying to, for lack of a better word, like market yourself and sell yourself to them, what have, what have you often been going to as like things saying like these are the things I'm really good at like this is why you should be interested? Yeah, I think um, as we talked about, I think my story is um, pretty unique and where I came from and you know what it took to get here and so I I, I go back to that and um, you know obviously try to highlight the strengths of my game um, and, and say what I do well. But uh, a big part of it is the intangibles and um, like I said, the journey. Um, could you take me back a year ago? Yo. A year ago, you kind of had a decision to make of, do you want to enter the NFL draft then or do you want to come back for another year at Purdue? Do you sort of look back on that decision and what it's like after having gone through a full year then now you're here at it again? What's that like um, now? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, I'm, I'm very happy with the decision I made to be able to win the Big Ten West was a, a goal of mine when I got here. And, um, you know, we do it in the last year that I, that I got to be here. So i um, appreciative of the whole journey, um, but yeah, definitely even looking back a year ago, so much has changed that uh, I'm very thankful for. I know you're tight with, with David Blau. Uh, just how much have you been able to talk to him about this process and your advice? Yeah, uh, he's been huge. Um, he's, when I was here, a great mentor. When um, Even when he was gone, I was still here, talked to him a bunch, and um, actually got to see him a few times. We went to church together down in Texas, and um, me and my wife got to go over to his house and hang out with him and his wife. So he's, he's a great guy. He uh, helps me out. He reaches out all the time to, um, you know, give advice and, um, you know, just, just a great friend overall that I'm super lucky to have. How much does it get your foot in the door being, I think, more than anything, it's just being around really great players and seeing, you know, this is what it takes to get to that level? Yeah, I think it's you just try to enjoy the experience. And like we talked about, I didn't know if I'd ever get a combine invite. And so just being able to be invited and uh, to be there and get the throat and um, some other great next to some other great quarterbacks was a lot of fun. I try to, you know, pick the brain and um, also just talk to them as guys because, you know, they're in a similar position I am. They're doing the same thing, same meetings, combine, pro day, all that stuff. And so you, you, uh, realize that a lot of guys are just on a similar path and um, you know you try to you know have that similarity with them and it's pretty enjoyable. But the first time you realize how important your genetics are with measuring hands and height and all of that stuff? It, it seemed a little redundant at times um, yeah we were shirt was off a lot of time with just compressions on so um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff that I didn't expect but you, you just roll with the punches. I asked Charlie this a little bit ago um, just how, how cool was it for you guys to share that moment of yeah. Yeah, it was it was awesome. Um, you know, when 
uh, after we entered the portal and we talked is something that we probably weren't even thinking about. We were just thinking about uh, the next season and to have it come full circle like that, um, being able to share that memory will be, will be pretty cool for a long time.